Wow, um, that was a crazy group stage, I'd say so. We're going to get into this one around 16, and I'm going to go to my preferred lineup right now. It is similar to the starting 11, but I have... Oh, Moreno's a bit tired. I'm still going to start him, and still put Porto on the right with Thiago here. And then I think I'll maybe do subs earlier, assuming things go to plan. Let's play the match here. Nice. We're in the round of 16 here against Colombia. So we'll get into this one. Oh, thank you for the follow, um, Strew Brios. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Colombia are here to play. They're not just here to be in the round of 16. They want to go to the quarterfinals like us. And we cannot afford to get have an upset here. Here's Zapata. Zapata goes for... What? He just stood there and just casually hit it. And it goes in. We got to do better now because we, do not, we don't want to end this career at the round of 16. Here's our yards of ball. Jeez, I'm playing so bad. I'm playing like I'm on like professional world class. Okay, here's Porto. Come on, Porto. Yes! Porto makes it one to one. It's about time. We've done absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing this game. And finally... Oh, that's actually, that's great play. And here goes Muriel. I didn't even know Muriel was on the pitch. And Muriel's gone all the way here. And the Atalanta duo ha have both scored in this one. And now it's 2-1 to one to Colombia. What can we look to do here? Here's Angelino. Great run. Great play, maybe. Oh, my gosh. It's gone in. You know what? In the end, we take that. That was a very sloppy goal. But we are losing to Colombia right now, and we can take any goal we want. And I think that was Angelino trying to look for Hermoso of all players. Um, everyone was out of position, and it went off the Colombian player into the back of the net. We try to do something here before the half ends. And here goes Gerard Moreno. Moreno's still going. He's got players all around him here. I'm actually going to sweat it. And Christian Porto has made it 3-2 to two right before the end of the first half. And that is perfect. Looking for something here. Here's Moreno. Oh, here's Oyarzabal. Oyarzabal to make it 4 to 2. And Mikel Oyarzabal has made it 4 to 2. And uh, we are in full control against Colombia. Oh, good play there. Good play. And here's Christian Porto in acres of space. I'm just going to go all the way here with him. And then float it over for Mikel Oyarzabal. And it's literally 5 to 2. Doesn't quite work. We still might win it back here. We don't. And it looks like it's going to end the game here unless the ref does something. Put in some slide tackles. And that's full time. We beat Colombia. 5-2. to two. But here we go. England beat Mexico. Austria beat Netherlands as we know. Italy beat France. Sweden beat Ivory Coast. We got an underdog Sweden here. We got Italy and England big teams in Austria upsetting Netherlands. And we have no France. So we're going to have a new winner. Spain beat Colombia as you know. Czech Republic beat the US. Argentina get revenge over Germany. And Uruguay beat Brazil. So in the quarterfinals, we got England, Austria. Italy, Sweden. Spain, Uruguay. And Czech Republic, Argentina. So you can. there's no big matchups in this one. Uh, it's a bunch of dark horse, or not, yeah, it's a bunch of dark horses versus um, powerhouses. Pale oh, you know what? It's, it's no Suarez, no Cavani, right? But they have Jimenez. Federico Valverde is probably around like 87 rated now. And Palestri is probably pretty good as well in the World Cup. It might not be, you know, 2010, 2012, that Ramos, or even like 2016, but it's still Ramos. He's got to do really well. And that starts a counterattack. Gerard Moreno just goes right down. And Thiago has scored yet another goal in this World Cup. And he's, ever since I started him over Saul, he's done a lot better. Aw, uh, wasn't the greatest pass, but he's amazing. I love to use him in my Sevilla career and stuff like that. And here he is, Christian Porto. Oh, here he is, Christian Porto. Here he is, Christian Porto. Oh my goodness. Christian Porto just completely tore apart Uruguay there. And it's 2 0. And I was talking earlier about how we haven't really had a clinical game yet. We've struggled in every game at some point up to this point. But against Uruguay, I mean, this is our best game so far. Oh, he's found Waller here. I don't really know who this Waller kid is. Okay, well, now I do. He's just scored in a World Cup quarterfinal, and he's taken away our clean sheet. Yet another game with no clean sheet for us. But he scored against us, and no way, no way, no way! Come on, man. Seriously? Seriously, 
two to two now. We were up two to nothing in 30 minutes, and all of a sudden it's two to two. They have quality, but not like any stars. And this is a problem, because they are faster than us. Ramos, oh, that was risky. No way. Penalty? No penalty. Oh my gosh, we survived there. That was, I mean, that was decent defending for me. But, oh, maybe Ramos got the ball? No, I don't think so. Here's Morata. Good ball, though. Yards ball. There's Christian Porto. Come on. Christian Porto. Yes, 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 yes. Christian Porto has been so good for us. And in the 89th minute, he has completely torn apart Uruguay there. He's so fast. And he's won the game in the 89th minute. I'll sub him off. Because, you know, just give him some rest. And he just won the game for us. And he has sent us to a World Cup semifinal. His fifth goal in the World Cup. I believe he's had two in this game and like two in the last game. So he's all of a sudden now in the golden boot race as well. Here they go. Waller to deliver it in. Ramos out. They still might have a chance here. No way. Please just get in front of him. Oh my gosh. We seriously survived. They almost scored at the end. But in the end, we have advanced to the World Cup semifinal. Um... I mean, I think from a neutral standpoint, I think that's around where Spain is expected to go to the semifinal of the World Cup. Semifinal, quarterfinal, um, but yeah. But we got lucky, guys. We got a real easy draw in Czech Republic. We cannot write them out, but that's amazing. I, I, I think Messi is not on the team. I mean, maybe he is, but you know, I don't know. Um, but we got Czech Republic in the semifinal, which means the other semifinal, what, is England-Italy? Ooh, that's a rematch of the Euro final. Here it is, guys. England beat Italy. England said it's going to come home. I don't know. They're in the final, and they're going to face either us or Czech Republic. And then I bring in Torres. Ah, that might be an idea. Because I'm not a fan of Moreno Morata. That might be the play to do that. And the reason I'm putting Torres in is because he's way better than Hermoso, in my opinion, from what I've been playing with. Here we are, World Cup semi-final. England fans are probably going crazy. They're saying, oh, it's gonna come home. We're in the final, we're the best in the world, as they always say. But you know, another team has to join them in the final and it's hopefully gonna be us, unless Czech Republic beat us here. But generally speaking, Dark Horses only get to the semi-final. Like if, if you just look at the history of like Dark Horses or, you know, underdogs, they generally don't win the whole thing. They generally, get they're expected to be in like the round of 16 or the group stage and then all of a sudden they get to the semifinals. check over spain nah come on oh my goodness they put patrick schick patrick schick's gone all the way here almost nope okay i forgot patrick schick was like really good in the euros i wasn't trying to pass to lorente i wasn't even trying to pass to lorente but he's not offside which is fine Come on, Christian Porthu. Oh, brilliant, Tiago! Oh my goodness, Tiago has made it one nil end. He's, I think, he's done really well. I believe that's his third goal now in the World Cup. And from a midfield standpoint, he didn't even start the first couple of games. And here he is, Tiago, getting his third goal of the World Cup. I believe he's our second top scorer. And it's one nil. And here goes Christian Porthu. Come on, I cannot mess this up. Christian Porthu cut inside. Christian Porthu. How have they saved that? How did they save that? Power shot, and he just... Oh my gosh. Did they even hit him? Hold up. This is a World Cup semi-final against Czech Republic of all teams. Um, they somehow managed to be here, but we're up 1-0. Wait, what? Wait, wait, there's a foul for something. Wait, what did I do? Nah, what did I do? I didn't do anything. They don't deserve this. Come on, man. I didn't do anything. What the heck? I didn't do anything. No, this game is broken. I didn't do anything. First of all, the save. That First of all, they saved the shot that didn't even hit the goalie's hand. What did I do? I, I need an explanation. What did I do? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so their, their player's running. Wait, no, this is, this is, it's right here. Okay, so their player's running. And I, I, I got the ball though. Or did I? Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, maybe I didn't. Wait, 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 wait. What did I do? Did I, did, I, did I step on their foot? I don't, I don't see any contact. That's not touching. That's not touching. When did I touch? What did I touch them? Come on. I, I barely touched their knee. When you really think about it. Oh, they might have a chance here. Ramos. Oh, no. They've turned me. They've turned me. 
Guys, 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 what the heck? What is going on? Why are we losing? No way, no way, no, 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 please, 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 no way, no, come on. What? No, come on. Seriously? Who is this guy? It's a default face. It's a default face. No one even knows who this guy is. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, we're going back to the old stuff to have it. Yeah, if we, we have to score here if we want to win this game. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Christian Porthu scores another goal. It's like, what, his seventh goal in the World Cup? I don't know how much it's going to matter, but, um, uh, come on, just get the ball. Get the ball. Come on. We got, we got a chance here. Don't, don't, don't play like this, Czech Republic. Give me the ball. You guys don't want to win. You're not going to beat England. I, we need to beat England for you. We can't let the England fans win. Come on. Give me the ball. Get up. No, how is that a foul? Come on, man. How is that a foul? The, the time is going. And the... Oh, my gosh. Bicycle kick for no reason. Great job. We actually lost. To Czech Republic. But how did we lose to Czech Republic? How did we lose to Czech Republic, man? I'm thinking you guys will say England wins the World Cup. But you never know. Let's do a third place match. We gotta wait. We don't know if England's gonna win. We're go we have to wait. We're gonna do our third place match first. Sim match, maybe not quick sim. Let's do yeah, let's do that. Let's let's uh do a visual sim. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Chance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's amazing play from our team. Oh, penalty. Hold up. Penalty it is. Okay, we gotta do something. Let's do something here. Let's take a penalty with Mikel Yards the ball. You know, no, 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 no. It's Ramos. We gotta take it with Ramos. As cool as you like. Sergio Ramos. Really? Seriously? Could make a 2 0 here. Hey! Saul makes it 2 0, and we have. We have officially gotten third place in the World Cup. It's better than 4th, 5th, 6th, and everything below her, but, um, yeah, losing to Czech Republic in the semifinal sucks. Here we go. Who wins the World Cup? England or Czech Republic? England won it! England have actually won it. Wow. I kind of wish Czech Republic won it, but, um, England ended up winning it. So, yeah, go with the safe prediction there. England are the, uh, World Cup winners. So, it's good to see. Good to see. It was, it was, a, it was a good, it was a good career mode. Good career mode we did with Leipzig, and a nice little campaign we did with Spain. Unfortunately, we couldn't win the World Cup with Spain. Um, it is alright, though. It came home, yeah.